hello again. It's me, Wiggly Sam 69 420 and I'm back with another review. But this time, it's not really on a show, but it's more on a pilot that was meant for a show, which was in a competition like Cartoon Network, but lost in second place. And that would be a Kitty Logo show. Also, I brought back my good friend Dude What Would Happen Fan 73 for this video. Hello everyone. It is I, Dude What Would Happen Fan 73. The reason why WigglyFan69420 brought me along for this is, because he showed me a Kitty Bobo show last week, and what I will say is that, while I don't really care, if it didn't become a show, it was an okay pilot. So what happened in it again? Well basically, it starts off with Kitty Bobo going to some bar place, where their friends there who are Paul, Maggie, and Monkey Carl and he shows off his new phone and would later use it more, and later he and Maggie go to the movies but he eventually gets distracted more by his phone, and then gets kicked out. Later, he goes with Paul and he tells him about his plan, where he would go to this dude named our city to prove him how really cool he is with his new phone, by calling Paul in disguise as someone else on the phone which would later fail when our city finds out about it. And then the next day Kitty Bobo goes on his bike with his phone, which would later get smashed when he crashes into this building place due to him texting Monkey Carl, and then goes to the same place as he was before at the start where he would meet his friends again, and then see that they have a phone too, at the end. And then they all leave the restaurant, while Bobo yells no in devastation, la 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 Anyways, let me tell how I felt about the characters. Bobo was honestly really really stupid, like holy crap, how could he not know he was messing up the view at the movie theater, while trying to talk to his dad on his cell phone and then he later tries to use it again, while riding his bike? Yeah, really stupid of him. Not even underground Ernie would do that on his bike. And he doesn't even say sorry to some of his friends after causing so much trouble for them. But, he's still better than Gumball from The Amazing World of Gumball, that dumb show that came out last year. Then there's Maggie. While she was not as stupid as Bobo, I really do not get why she gets so mad over stuff you shouldn't get mad about. Like in one part of the pilot she gets so bitter towards that dog guy called Paul and that monkey guy called Carl for choosing to not go to the theater, as if they absolutely had to be there, even though they really didn't have to. I also don't understand why she snaps at Bobo for not seeing them leave, if it would have not made any difference, if he did not anyway. Not even Captain Haddock from The Adventures of Tintin gets that salty towards stuff like that. I didn't really like her anyway. La 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 la, but hey, she is still way less yucky than stupid old Nicole Watterson from Gumball. She is the worst cat mom ever. Yeah, I agree. That mom is so dumb and gay. Anyways, the only characters who weren't stupid in the pilot were that dog called Paul and that monkey called Carl. Paul is actually cool unlike Bobo and wears cool clothes. Yeah, those clothes are quite neat. While Carl is funny and does the same thing, as I do, eating cereal, while doing stuff on my computer. Wow, I do as well use the computer, but I sometimes eat something different rather than cereal. Like ice cream. Yeah, ice cream is good. Anyways, if those guys were instead the main characters, maybe it would have actually won and became into a show, or maybe it would have been better if Bobo wasn't as stupid and said sorry at the end. That dude has no manners. Actually, speaking of the parts where he is stupid, let's look back on the part when his cell phone is about to be destroyed and then he gets super upset about it. Crazy! Not crazy? Oh Just my god, here it comes. Really? Cool. <laughs> Get wrecked, you huh? stupid cat. Ha 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 ha. Now his cell phone is broken. <laughs> Alright, now for our overall thoughts on a Kitty Bobo show. Honestly, the pilot was alright, but there are some things that are good about it. Like, for example, Paul and Monkey Carl and the art style. Even though some of the characters and scenes were pretty stupid at times, it is still better than any episode from the stupid old unamazing world of Gumball. So we give it a 6 out of 10. I wish the dude what would happen guys would destroy the house the Watterson family lives in. Do you agree? Oh yes. It would be cool if the guys teamed up with the Aquabats. Oh yeah, 
Speaking of those guys, sometime I am planning on doing a review on a show about that band Wiggly Fan 69420 likes that is on the hub, so stay tuned for whenever that video is made. Yeah. Anyways, this is Wiggly Fan 69420. And dude, what would happen, Fan 73 now signing off? Oh, and please don't put bad comments on this video. Thanks for watching. We like pizza in the morning. We like pizza.